Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a simple jeera rice in pressure cooker. I'm going to show you some tips how to keep the rice non-sticky even though we are cooking it in pressure cooker. I served it with simple curd and delicious butter chicken. I hope you love this recipe of mine. So, keep watching. Here I've already washed 2 cups of rice and soaked it in water for 30 minutes. This is Devaya brand Basmati rice. Here in a pressure cooker, I am heating 2 tablespoons of ghee. You can also use oil. Once the ghee melts, I am going to add 1 tablespoon of cumin seeds, 1 green chilli, few finely chopped mint and coriander leaves. Now give this a good fry. I am frying this until I get the aroma of the cumin and green chillies. Once the cumin is fried well, add the rice and stir fry it for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds. All we need to make sure is the moisture from the rice is absorbed and we are stir frying the rice to have all the flavors infused into the rice. Now the rice is fried well. I am going to add water. Here I have taken 2 cups of rice and so I am adding 4 cups of water. Preferably use hot water as it fastens the cooking process. Now give this a stir to avoid any rice being stuck at the bottom of the vessel. Salt as per taste and few drops of lemon extract. This will keep the rice white and also keep the grain long and avoid it from turning sticky. To enhance the flavor, I am adding 1 4 teaspoon of kevra essence. This is optional but if you have this, please do add. Give this a mix. Now close the lid, put on the weight and allow it to pressure cook for about 3 to 4 whistles. Now the time for the pressure cooking depends on the quality of the rice and brand of the brand of the cooker. Once the pressure is completely released, open the lid. With the help of a fork, spread the rice. Here you can see the rice is cooked well, has all the flavors of the green chilli and the cumin infused into it. I am going to serve this hot. I serve this with curd topped with some spices and delicious butter chicken. Along with that I also kept some onion rings. I hope you found this video very helpful. Do give it a try and share your feedback in the comment section below this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.